It's hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I got a very nice video for you guys. Something came in the mail. As you see, HID kit conversion. I had it before with my OEM headlights, but today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to install an HID conversion kit with your Spec D headlights, okay? So if you have Spec D headlights, I remember making a video and I complained about how it comes with yellow bulbs and your crap. I'm going to teach you how to put HIDs on it, okay? Instead of getting OEM headlights, I decided to repair these. Go ahead, since I already have them and spending more money on other headlights and make them worth the while, all right? So I've already done one side, which I'm gonna show you guys. And then I'm gonna explain to you guys how to do it with the other side, okay? I had to figure it out first to see if they're gonna work, see if it would right, because I'm an idiot. Um, if you buy the ones like I did, they come with this ground and power cord. I gotta teach you how to install them, okay? So, because I'm an idiot, it's taking longer than the usual HID kit conversion, but it's very easy, and I'm gonna show you how. Let's get to it. All right, so to make it easier on you guys, you wanna go ahead and take your bumper off, okay? And then, right in here, you wanna take the bolt that keeps the headlight in place off, because you're gonna make it easier on yourself if you take, just pull the headlight out and um, work with it that way, because it's kind of hard to pull the bulb out, all right? So, go ahead, take the cover off the headlight off, where the bulb is gonna be, and unplug the connection to the bulb, all right? Once you've done that, I'm gonna teach you the second step. Make sure you take all the bolts that hold the, the two bolts that hold the headlight on there, these two, this one, and this one. Just go ahead and take them off, and, um, Pull the headlight out, all right? All right, so as you can see, here's the bulb, all right? You took it off. Here's the little bulb. And I find it hard to take it off with my hand. So I'm going to get a wrench. Well, not a wrench, but... Alright. Just grab something thin like this. Put it on the edge right here. And just try and pop it up. Like this. Like that. Just so you get it loose enough bam it's out bulb is out all right you might end up bending it a little like i did but it works all right so regarding the ballast and the headlight itself right the hid light xenon okay so you want to connect the power port, power source to the ballast. That's how the ballast is going to get power. Then obviously the two other connections to the light, that's all you need, okay? And these two are what you got to worry about, all right? These two are what is a pain in the butt to have to figure out. Because a lot of Xenon kits, HID kits, don't come with these. Just simple plug and play. So I'm going to teach you how you can do it if you end up getting one of these. Um, so you don't have to worry okay so here on my left hand i have the original that goes into the bulb for the original spec d lights bulb blue is ground red is power so what you're gonna do on the back side right here you see those little inserts right in the middle okay all you're simply gonna do is just grab ground first and put it right in there between the middle plastic piece and the ground piece okay and all you're gonna do is just try and get it in there as tight as you can don't worry 
I'm gonna teach you how to keep it in there without um without it coming off, okay? But get it in there as tight as you possibly can. Like that, I inserted all the red piece in there. And then you're gonna do the same thing on the opposing side with the power, okay? And on the power side, you might need to snuggle it in there, but it'll go in. It'll go in, you can see, it. you can't see through the camera, but in there you can see a little bit of piece of it. And boom, power's in, okay? All right. So that's how you're gonna connect those. I'm gonna take him off for now because there's another step we gotta do, which is we gotta make a hole in the back of here so we can get this piece out so we can put the cover back on whenever we install the bulb, okay? Because right now, you can't do this. All right, that's not how it works. So you're gonna have to cut a little piece in the rubber and put your bulb in there, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and take those out. Let's get to cutting. Careful not to cut your wires, okay? You do not want to cut your wires. Be very, very careful and gentle. All right. So in the beginning of this video, you guys didn't see this lever. This is so your bulb stays on tight. You're going to need that with this HID Xenon kit to make sure it's on there. Don't take it off like I did. All right. Now, to install the bulb. All right, so you're testing them out and they work. Next thing you wanna take them out and here's where the rubber piece is gonna come into place, all right? You gotta make a bigger hole because obviously it's not gonna fit through that little hole. So I'm gonna go on and I'm gonna make a little hole, a little bit bigger so the bulb can fit into there. Now put the cap back on. You can push this forward if you really want to. You can even put the connection in there. Whatever you so choose, all right? Now, I'm gonna put the headlight back on and I'm gonna show you guys the final product. All right, moment of truth so you guys don't think that I'm BSing, okay? Let's go inside the car. My car is fairly dirty, but one, two, all right, lights should be on. Let's go check it out. Okay, give me one second. All right, guys, so here's to show you that they do work. Here's the side we just did it's on here's the other side on however it took me a little bit to get to this place to understand but I gotta let you guys know before you try turning it on actually look at this okay on both sides I showed you where to connect the the power and ground okay on the driver's side blue is ground power is red on the passenger side Blue is power, red is ground. So they're switched, okay? That's why when I first tried to show you guys that they were on, I was like, wait, that one isn't on. Uh, yeah, it's backwards on the passenger side. So make sure you pay attention to that and watch this before trying to turn it on, before figuring out why it's not working, okay? So, yeah, I'm very happy. Can't wait to show you guys at night um, what it's gonna look like. I'll make a separate video for that. Uh, Showing you guys driving around, taking you guys for a little ride, showing you how bright it is at night if I can. Or you guys will see in the little shorts, I don't know. But yeah, that's how you can convert your Spec D headlights uh, to HID Xenons, okay? 
The ones that I got were from Aliens, uh, 55 watt, uh, 6000 K. So if you think that's bright enough for you, go with that. If not, then I consider going with the higher, uh, with the brighter setup, okay? With that being said, guys, this was a video for you guys. I've been working until one o'clock, two o'clock in the morning. Um, hopefully, you know, in the next two weeks, I'll be be able to buy some more mods for the Scion and teach you guys how to install it and show you guys what I get, okay? With that being said, I'm gonna go put the carbine together right now. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like with the bump on and everything, and let's enjoy it. Make sure you subscribe make sure you comment down below if you need help installing your hids hit me up on instagram my link is on my channel page so go and check it out that's where all my social media is and i'll see you guys in the next one all right peace